First, make sure that the study is correctly assigned to the CT Neuroperfusion workflow. Otherwise, click with the right mouse button and select Open with CT Neuroperfusion. The patient data will be opened in a layout that consists of the temporal data displayed with three MPRs at the top of the screen. A lower left segment with the temporal MIP for better assessment of the vessels and a temporal average on the lower right segment for better assessment of the brain parenchyma. Navigation can be done in any of these segments by pressing the right mouse button and dragging the mouse vertically. Window corrections can be done by pressing the middle mouse button and dragging the mouse vertically and horizontally. To navigate through time, use the upper segments and drag the mouse horizontally while pressing the right mouse button or simply by moving the time slider. The first step of our workflow allows motion correction. Just scroll through all time points to detect a good time point with minimal motion that could be set as a reference. Notice how the small triangle changes and apply motion correction. If motion artifacts are observed in some time points it is better to remove the corresponding points beforehand. After optional motion correction and deletion of critical time points, go to Step 2 Segmentation, where the 4D noise reduction can be run to reduce image noise. This is especially helpful if the data is noisy due to a protocol with low MAS. In this step, an automatic segmentation of the parenchyma is done. When switching from Step 2 Segmentation to Step 3 Vessel Definition, all major vessels are detected and displayed in magneta. The reference vessel, typically the sinus sagittalis, is detected with a blue area and the arterial input voxels are marked in red. Just verify that the detection is correct. Time attenuation curves will help to determine if they are plausible. The peak of the red arterial curve should lie in front of the peaks of the blue venous curve. If any curves are not satisfactory, they can possibly be improved by manual definition. If you are satisfied with all inputs in Step 3, go on to Step 4, Results Preview. In this step, you can quantitatively assess the result volumes to ensure that they are adequate for further evaluation and archiving. Just make sure that the volumes that you want to proceed with are selected. If quantification is needed, proceed to Step 5, Results. All hemodynamically relevant perfusion parameters are displayed in one of the following views, including cerebral blood flow, CBF, cerebral blood volume, CBV, mean transit time, MTT, and time to drain, TTD. More parameters can be added in the configuration dialog. The penumbra region of a cerebral infarction can be evaluated for an optimized treatment strategy including tissue at risk characterization. This mismatch is depicted in red and yellow using CBV and CBF. To evaluate the penumbra volume quantitatively, just select the ROI tool which will display all of the values in the dedicated chart. ROI measurements will automatically be mirrored to the contralateral hemisphere. All results are conveniently collected in a report. Saving and archiving this report and the result series is as easy as completing the workflow by clicking the Save and Send button.